butter. Use our scissors to cut our butter into our mashed potatoes. Just cut this up like so. We're using Lay's chips to create some easy mashed potatoes for the family. Perfect. Just wanna use a lot of butter. Just like that. We put some milk and a little bit of chicken broth. Just one can of chicken broth is about all you need. Now let's add some cheese. We did add some boiling hot water to our mashed, to our mashed potatoes. You wanna kinda of spread everything around, make sure they're getting nice and soggy. Okay, you want that butter to spread around. Perfect, just like that. Now let's add some of our cheese. Again, I like to cut everything. Just cut everything up using my scissors. I wanna add some cheese, because I love having cheese with my mashed potatoes. This is just some Colby Jack cheese. Perfect. This is gonna get nice and cheesy in there. You can do a little bit of a blend as well. It just depends how you like your mac and cheese. I really do like a cheesy mashed potatoes. And we're using Lay's for the mashed potatoes because these are already cut up potato chips. We don't need to wash or cut the potatoes. Doing that is so annoying and so unnecessary. So we're just using some Lay's and we don't have to prep any of our potatoes, okay? I do like to add the whites of an egg, and I do this by getting this little tool, and I just crack, there we go. So this is going to allow us to filter out the egg whites from the yolk, as you can see. We just kinda want the whites, that's it, we don't want the the egg yolks inside of our mashed potatoes, because then it's gonna get really fluffy. I just want it to get just a little fluffy. Perfect, just a little bit. Keep on filtering it out. We're actually gonna do two, because this is a huge portion. So I'm making mashed potatoes for my family. This is the best way I make mashed potatoes for my entire family, because I've, I have a huge family. So I need to use three bags of the party size of the Lay's. Otherwise, I would have to use maybe like 20 potatoes to make the, this mashed potatoes for my family. And I just don't have time to peel and cut up 20 potatoes, okay? So we have that white coming out. Perfect. That's all we needed. Great. Now let's go ahead and add some of our seasonings. So we have some sea salt. You don't need too much salt because the potato chips are already salty. So let's do some of our black pepper. I do like adding a lot of black pepper. Now let's finish off with some of our onion powder. Perfect, just like so. We're almost done here. I do have the hot water running. I'm gonna make it even hotter. Okay, you wanna just spread that out everywhere. This is why it's so easy to make it in the sink. So the key is to get those potatoes nice and soggy as you would with regular potatoes. We're getting those potato chips soggy by using hot water. Perfect. This is very hot boiling water. We're just using some sink water. It's totally clean in my city. So I like to use sink water for everything. Perfect. That's just enough. Now let's, we're almost done. I'm gonna do a little bit of heavy whipping cream. This is gonna make the mashed potatoes be very, very like fluffy, milky. We did add our butter in there for that reason as well. But this is really just a little key ingredient that I like to do. Just not too much, just a little bit. Perfect. That's it. It just makes everything very creamy. So we want a little bit of creamy. And now let's add a little bit of our greens. 
we don't need that many. I just want to add a little bit of this. Don't need too much. Just a little bit of our greens in there just to get some herbs. I like to make my food as fresh as possible. Perfect, just like that. Great, so we're just about done. Now remember, we added some of our chicken broth. So this chicken broth is gonna give our mashed potatoes that really healthy feeling and it's gonna taste kind of have like a little brothy, just nice and warm, perfect for the winter. We did add our milk. I did do a 2% milk. We did also add boiling hot water. So we need to boil, we need to get these potatoes super, super mushed up and warm. I also did add butter. Don't forget to add butter to this, please. You need to have butter in your mashed potatoes. So now remember the key ingredient, key ingredient to making these amazing mashed potatoes is Lay's Classic, Lay's Classic. I gotta use the big boy bags, the really, really big bags, but Lay's Classic is the key here, okay? So let's go ahead and mash everything. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. I feel like it needs more pepper. We did add our cheese, just cause I like to make it just a little cheesy. So let's go ahead and smash everything together. This is super easy in the sink. It's the easiest place for me to make mashed potatoes this big you're just smashing everything you want everything to mix and let's go ahead and turn on the hot water as we have had it on perfect just like so and nothing is going down we have plugged the sink so just go ahead and smash you want to use your tools to smash your potatoes you can use a whisk totally fine as well you're just smashing everything keep on smashing so we're just gonna smash for about a second or two you want to smash this is see how soft and creamy the potatoes look already so they went from being some hard chips to some very soft and soggy potatoes so now the key is really to just smash everything make them into mashed potatoes. And you wanna mix the butter, the cheese, all of the ingredients, you wanna mix all of that into our mashed potatoes. So just keep on stirring and mixing. Look at how nice and creamy that already looks. Keep on smashing, let's get some water in there, hot, hot water, just a little bit, just let it run for a little. We want to get everything nice and smashed. Like so, this is the best thing to do when you are making mashed potatoes for a big family. So you can see we're all getting, we're already getting that consistency of the mashed potatoes. We have a strainer at the bottom of our sink right here. So all of that liquid is being strained as we mix. You want to mix on top of the strainer. So as you can see, look at this, it's already becoming very mushy. You want that liquid to get a little more strain. So here's our strainer, just find your strainer right there and keep on mixing everything. This is looking just delicious. We just used some Lay's. Look at how great this is already looking. You can use your hot water if you feel like you need some more hot water in there. Remember we used Lay's milk, chicken broth, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, our seasonings, cheese, and a little bit of our herbs. Okay, you can add some bacon to this. It all just, it's all about preference. This is just how my family likes to eat their mashed potatoes. And I love making mashed potatoes, but it just takes way too long. Can't do this in a big pan. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and plate this. See how this looks. Oh my goodness, are you guys seeing this? This is just perfectly cooked mashed potatoes. Look at this consistency, wait until I plate this. Look at that right there, oh my goodness. Go ahead and put some pepper on it. 
a little bit of my herbs, a little bit of cheese, sprinkle that over, and then top it off with a little bit of our sour cream. Perfect. And now, guys, look at that. Perfectly cooked mashed potatoes using Lay's chips, all made in the sink for a huge family. Look at the consistency. It's absolutely perfectly cooked mashed potatoes.